Ezekiel Elliott ran for five yards and then two straight incomplete. And the ninth time all year long, the Cowboys have gone three and out. That's the second fewest in the league to Washington. Trent Taylor, the rookie, puts it on the ground, and the Cowboys take advantage, pick it up inside the 20-yard line. Here on special teams. Well, Trent Taylor, he initially had the ball a little loose in his right hand, and then he switched it and tried to tuck it. And boy, what an opportunity now, setting this offense up in great field position. Last two games. 11 drives in the red zone with 10 touchdowns. Elliott back-to-back big carries. And stumbles down to the five-yard line. First and goal, Dallas. Initial ruling of a six-game suspension overturned by a district court in New York. So he's playing again, and he has found the end zone. We got a chance to visit with him. He had a deep tissue massage on Friday. He's ready to go. Bethard gets a big block from Carlos Hyde, but is unable to escape Damian Wilson along the sideline. It was Hitchens chasing after him. Elliott checks back in the game, and they put it in his hands. Ezekiel Elliott to the 10, the 5. And for a second time, Elliott to the end zone. What a start for Ezekiel Elliott. Who comes around and cleans up. You see the hole. That's right there in the middle. And Jason Witten saw him make a nice catch just moments ago. And then he is an outstanding blocker. And he clears the lane. That's great effort. Great job finishing off this drive for this Cowboys offense. And he is some kind of back. The boys have fall with Kenny Chesney. No shirt, no shoes, no problem, too. naturally where his dad would call home. It's a nice throw right there on the completion to Goodwin. <laughs> Beathard's going to keep it. How about that? And down the sideline he goes and run out of bounds to the 25-yard line. This has been a solid drive for C.J. Beathard. Now the longtime Bear, Robbie Gold from 42 out. He's been as good as anybody in the league over the last 20 years. And what a start for Ezekiel Elliott. He's on the bench as they fake it to Alfred Morris, and that is Cole Beasley. He's had a very quiet season after leading the Cowboys in receptions and receiving yards a season ago. When they finally hear Elliott's case in the district court in New York, down the middle of the field, and it is caught by Goodwin. And the former Texas Longhorn in the Dallas territory. 30. That will call the 42-yard line. I don't know how C.J. Beth, I don't, I'm not real sure exactly who he was trying to throw the ball to. There's two receivers right in line with each other. Three on third down. That's Garcon in motion. Good protection. Now pocket collapses. And that is David Irving filling in for the injured Robinson. Prescott, a little read option here. That's been a a successful play when they run it. Look like early movement on Cowboys. That's Bryant on Witherspoon as you pointed out, Troy, but got a feeling this one's coming back. Well, All the way down like to the 21. That is some kind of defense for Mike Zimmer. Look into the end zone for Witten. One-handed catch, and that is a touchdown for Jason Witten. One of the game's all-time greats. A lot of time in the pocket. He gets back to Witten, who's about his second or third in the progression. He knows he's got one-on-one. -on -one. He comes back and works the slot. A well-run route by Witten. Keeps it up the field. And a one-handed catch by the veteran tight end. 49ers have had a hard time running the football in this game. Second down, 12, sacked. 
And that's Tyrone Crawford. 7.30 Eastern Time. On Tuesday night, game one of the World Series. Take it one way, throw it the other way to Ezekiel Elliott. He races down the sideline inside the 20. Back to the inside. Are you kidding me? Ordinary running back Ezekiel Elliott. Well, the Redskins had about 100 yards receiving on three screen plays a week ago, and they just give up a 70 yarder to Ezekiel Elliott. Zach Martin, the right guard, he makes the key block on that play. We'll take a look along the sideline. He stays in bounds. That's unbelievable. I'm sure everybody and his brother is worn out on the on again, off again saga of Elliott, but the bottom line is he's still playing football for the Cowboys. Witten to the 15, and that's another first down. Again, Des Bryant down at the bottom of your screen, and Prescott will keep it and find the end zone. Dak Prescott, his third rushing touchdown of this season. Liked what he saw, drafted him in the 10th round, comes in with the third round pick, Joe Montana. They did pretty well thereafter. Big hit delivered by Jalen Smith. Looking for Bryant. And it is a touchdown, and that touchdown ties the all-time Cowboys franchise record. Imagine Joe Staley telling, telling me leading up to this game, we were really only out of one of the games, and that was against Indy. He said easily we could have been five and one. And that's all Rick Robinson. That's another guy who has a lot of loyalty. Did you just read the credits with six minutes to go? <laughs> I did. Okay. <laughs> because we were setting it up on the tee for Bezzer on his first career touchdown. They stay upright and just take the punishment. It's over 200 rushing yards now for the Cowboys today. And look at this. Rod Smith. And the former Buckeye run out of bounds all the way inside the 20 down to the 14 yard line. This Cowboys team he does a lot on special teams. And in talking with Jason Garrett, a lot of people wonder why Darren McFadden has been inactive every game this season. Well, the biggest reason is because of Rod Smith and his versatility, his dependability week in and week out, and what he does on special teams. And now he's getting some of the. That's going to do it. So the Cowboys end a two-game losing streak. They end the, even their record at three up and three down. Largest margin of victory over the 49ers going all the way back to 1980.